Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to Esther's Song of Praise. I hope that all of you are having an amazing Thursday. Today has been a bit long for me, and I've been praying and asking the Lord to help me manage my time more effectively. You know, being busy and being productive are two different things, and so I'm praying for wisdom and for him to teach me better efficiency. So if you guys could pray that... <laughs> Pray for me as well. Lift me up in prayer. Um, building a business is not for the faint of heart. It's definitely much more challenging than working in corporate America or working in academia or working for anyone else, right? It's very fulfilling, excuse me, but it's very draining. And my prayer is that the Lord would just help me to increase my business strategies, that knowledge, that wisdom. But that's my prayer request. So if you have prayer requests that you would like me to pray with you about, please let me know in the comment section. Let's go ahead and finish the book of Ecclesiastes with chapter 12. I hope this series has been a blessing to you. It's been a blessing to me. I've gained a lot of insight into King Solomon through doing the research right, for this book series. I didn't know that, you know, it was written in 70 AD and that he was an elder writing it before I started the series. Of course, this isn't my first time reading the book of Ecclesiastes, but doing that additional research really helped me understand King Solomon a bit more. So I'm going to ask the Lord to bless his word, and then we will get right in into the last chapter of the book. Father God, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. We ask that you would just grant the prayer request of each and every one of my brothers and my sisters out there, Father. Lord, I ask that anyone who is hurting, who is suffering, who is finding, finding themselves drained, whether it be financially, spiritually, mentally, physically, whatever it is, Father, we ask that you would renew their strength as the eagles, Lord God, and to remember, Father, that when we are weak, as the Apostle Paul said, then we are strong. We can lean on you for strength, that you are our strong tower, and the righteous run into it, and they are safe, Father. And we just ask that you will continually, continuously strengthen us, keep us close to you, Lord God. Bless the reading of your word today. We ask, Lord, that as we wrap up the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, that you would impart your biblical wisdom into our hearts, into our minds, Lord God. That we, were, that we may bear fruit that will testify of you, Father God. Help me to get through this video, Lord God, that you would help bless my words, Lord God. You know this day has been extremely long, extremely draining for me, Father. But I ask, Lord, that you would just bless the work of my hands, that it might glorify you, Lord, and every person who hears my voice. In Jesus' name, we thank you. We ask that you would bless and touch every one of my brothers and my sisters out there in the globe this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. The New International Version. Remember your creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come and the years approach, when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars grow dark and the clouds return after the rain, when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men stoop, when the grinders cease because they are few and those looking through the windows grow dim, when the doors to the street are closed and the sound of grinding fades, when people rise up at the sound of birds, but all their songs grow faint. When people are afraid of heights and dangers in the, tr in the streets, when the almond tree blossoms and the grasshopper drags itself along and desire no longer is stirred, then people go to their eternal home and mourners go about the streets. Remember him before the silver cord is severed and the golden bowl is broken, before the pitcher is shattered at the spring and the wheel broken at the well and the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the spirit returns to the God who gave it. Meaningless, 
meaningless. So as a teacher, everything is meaningless. The conclusion of the matter. Not only was the teacher wise, but he also imparted knowledge to the people. He pondered and searched out and set in order many proverbs. The teacher searched to find what is just the right words and what he wrote was up, upright and true. The words of the wise are like goads, your collected sayings like firmly embedded nails given by one shepherd. Be warned, my son, of anything in addition to them. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study wearies the body. Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing whether it is good or evil. May the Lord bless the reading of his word today. I love that last, the last few verses of this chapter, right? Where he just gives a, a really great summary, a summation of everything that the Lord asks us to do. He's like, listen, this is the crux. This is the conclusion of the entire matter. To fear God, and keep his commandments, for that is the duty of all mankind. That's it, right? That's very simple, that we are to read the word, to hide it in our hearts so that we might not sin against the Lord, right? That's what King David said. But that's our duty as, as creations here, as mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. So we know that the law of sowing and reaping, it is so real. Brothers and sisters, it's like the law of gravity, right? Like just because someone doesn't believe in it, doesn't mean it's not real. If you drop an apple off of the edge of a cliff, it will, it will drop and it'll hit the ground, right? So and that's what, you know, Sir Isaac Newton found out when um, he wrote the theory of gravity, but we know that the true creator of the law of gravity is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ and God the Father. But that's that's what we're supposed to do, right? This is, <laughs> this is one of my favorites as well, verse 12, where he says, be warned, my son, of anything in addition to them, of making many books, there is no end, and much study wearies the body. I don't know if you guys are, if you're new to the channel, you might not know that my background was in academia. And so <laughs> when I first read this this morning, because I like to go over the chapter before I bring it to you um, in this PowerPoint presentation, but that made me smile, right? Just, I, I love learning and I love reading. But King Solomon says, you know, too much of anything any type of extreme, right, is not good for us. So he says too much study wearies the body, and that is so true. That might be the scripture I put on my graduation announcements um, when I get this last degree. The scripture that I put on my graduation announcements for my other degrees was um, Jeremiah 29, 11, where it says, you know, for the Lord knows he has plans for us, right? The Lord says, I have plans for you, plans to prosper you and, you know, to not harm you, to give you hope and a future. I'm paraphrasing, that's off the top of my head, but I was like, oh my gosh, you know? And I remember one of my students, um, she asked me, she's like, can I use that too? And I'm like, of course, <laughs> of course you can. I'm not the author of the book, right? <laughs> of course. Oh my goodness, I was so happy when she said that, but that made me smile. Um, just thinking about that. I'm like, of course you can, you know, use that scripture. Absolutely, I would I would love if you did. You know, the Lord would be pleased if you did. So but this made me smile as well, right? For a different reason. King Solomon was the wisest man in the in the world ever in history. So it might do us good, it might do me good to remind myself that too much study absolutely does weary the body. Um, I can hear my voice actually starting to go. So I'm going to <laughs> jump in the shower and jump into bed. 
to get some rest because it's been a, a very long day. But I hope this was a blessing to every one of you. Please take care of yourselves. Get as much rest as you need. Don't study too much. <laughs> it wearies the body. Um, but, right, I'll leave you with the beautiful summary from King Solomon and inspired by the Holy Spirit. Fear God, keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. Absolutely. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Stay blessed, brothers and sisters. Take care of yourselves and each other. If you have prayer requests, let me know in the comment section. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk with you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.